Now let's go through the other examples that they were talking about here. So another example they were talking about, oh, here's the soap. This is the one you were talking about, yeah. huh? the soap. Mm -hmm. All right, so they have a soap film. And they told us that the end for the soap film is 1.4. And it starts in the air, which we know n equals 1. Then there's the soap film. And the final medium is water, which you might have memorized by now. N for water is 1.33. Mm -hmm. So is this going to give us the same equations we just got, or do we need to modify these? It's going to be the same. Yeah, how, how do you know it's the same? Because 1 is less than 1.4 or 1.4 is. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether this is water or air. Either way, this number is less than this one. So the logic we went through would still go through. So these are the right equations for the situation. Yeah. So let's go on to the second example. Now they had that the third medium was glass. If the third medium is glass, they told you that its end was 1.5. They wouldn't expect you to know these ends. They just give it to you. OK, now this is not the same situation as before. So let's think this through again. This guy is still going to reverse here. Now is this one going to reverse? Yes. So they're in phase? Well, they're so yeah. So the effect of all these reversals would be to keep them in phase yeah. if there wasn't for the path length difference. If it wasn't for the path length difference, they would be in phase again because of the reversals. So for constructive interference, so the path length is still 2D. So if you just take the reversals into account, remember that we're assuming they start in phase. Because they, they, of course they start in phase because they're the same beam of light. Yeah. This is the same beam of light that's split up. So it started in phase, the two different parts. Now, the, re the reversals would not change that anymore. The reversals would keep them in phase because they're both reversing. So now, what's the shortest distance that you would want the longer one to travel to still be in phase? Um, one half. Or n plus one half. Let's think about that. Uh, well, the, it's in this because it's in the first equation. n plus one half. This one here? I'm not oh, sure. For the from the air to the film. From the air to the film. I mean the soap. Yeah, from the air to the soap film. I'm not sure if I'm following you. These equations don't refer, these equations refer to the whole situation. Yeah. So we can't just reuse these equations because these were the equations for when we had uh, air to soap to water. We're going to have to figure out the equations all over again from scratch. These equations only work for air to soap to water. So the only way to do this is to actually think through the logic. We actually have to think through the logic. So um, well, from the air to the soap, it reverses phase, though, right? That's right. So but then this one is also reversing phase. Uh -huh. So those two reversals would keep them in phase. Right. OK. That was supposed to m, m lambda. Yeah, y m lambda, because now, since, since the reversals would keep them in phase, you want the, uh, what, the one that's going longer to go just oh, one yeah. full wavelength longer, and then it would still be in phase. So if, they, if they're still in phase after the reversals, then if there's a one wavelength difference, they would still be in phase, or a two wavelength difference, or a three wavelength difference. Again, it doesn't make sense to put in m equals zero here, because that would imply that the film has no length. All right, so now let's figure out the destructive equation. Because again, the, rever um, the reversals are still keeping them in phase. The reversals are keeping them in phase, and then you're going to mess that up if one, if one of the waves goes half a wavelength longer than the other. So now, and this is the case. Notice that sometimes you have to think about when m could be 0 or not. m could be 0 here, because then you would just get the path length difference is half a wavelength. Yeah. Well, that's possible. OK, so that would give us this equation. So this is the equations that we got for when we were going from air to the soap, glass. to glass. You can see there's many different possibilities. So you can't, uh, you have to think through each of them. So the last example that they did was air to soap to air. Oh, they just did the one that we started with uh, at the beginning. And that's the same as the first one, air to soap to water. Right. OK, there's many other examples that you can make up here, but you, uh, you analyze them all the same way. So the point is, you can't just look up an equation for a thin film, because it depends on what the surrounding mediums are. There's a different thing for the surrounding mediums. 
So the one thing that's always true is that the path length difference is 2D. The path length difference is 2D. But then whether you want to go uh, whole wavelengths or a wavelength and a half to stay constructive depends on how many reversals we're having here. So there's basically two effects um, here, two things that can take us out of phase. Remember the two waves started in phase. Um, well, one thing that could get them out of phase is if one of them is reversing and the other one isn't. And then you have to correct that by going an extra half wavelength. Yeah. On the other hand, if they're both reversing, then that cancels out. And then, since they started in phase, you want to go in to get constructive interference, you want the path length difference to be a whole number of wavelengths, so they stay in phase. And as usual, I, I think we went through some complicated stuff here, so it would be a good idea, just when you get home, take a blank piece of paper and try to come up with these equations again on your own, and then check your notes and see if you can get it right. Okay. The only way to, uh, because again, you might see on the test see an example that we didn't go through. Um, the only way to make sure you can adapt to an example we haven't seen is to make sure you can come up with these examples on your own.